everyone. Howdy, y'all. We just got finished kayak camping Lake Washita and we got a phone call that our camper is ready to be picked up. But it is eight hours from here in Huntsville, Alabama. So right now we are heading back home to my parents' house in our hometown and we're going to have to prepare to go pick up this camper. We have to take the tailgate off. They recommend that it is off and we've got to do something with this back seat here because we're gonna use it for storage so we have to remove the seats and make a platform. So we've got a lot of work to do. We'll see you there. We are now at my dad's shop. We were gonna take the tailgate off today but I think we're gonna wait because we're not leaving tomorrow and we don't really wanna drive around without the tailgate because we have to haul some stuff different places. So we're just gonna do the back seats for today because we need to build a platform. So let's get started. For people new to the channel, this is Kelly's father, Nick. Say hello, Nick. Hello. Yeah, you gotta love yourself some Nick. So we got the whole entire back seat pulled out. I hope we can figure out how to put this back together. But let's keep both. these nuts. I'm gonna put, yeah. put them back on. Yeah, 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 let's put those back on there. There you go. And pull this on out. That is the scariest thing, trying to figure out how this goes back together. I think we can uh, figure it out. You want me to come around and get it? No, I got it. So we'll hold on to all this at Nick's place so that if we ever need to sell this truck, we've got seats to go back in the back. And wow, this is dirty. And you need to get that vacuum clean, vacuum all this goldfish up. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that really opens up a lot of space. Does it not? I mean, it was, it was right there is how far the cushions came out. So now we're gonna be heading down to my dad's in Longview and build out a box. And we have no clue how we're going to do this box yet. Or not a box, just like a platform or something. I've been MIA because I went to go get delicious, tasty treats. You know, we love Herbalife, so we had to go get a shake and a tea. Looks like they have that under control, but I am going to clean it when they get done. Cody says that I can vacuum and I love vacuuming. So I will clean when they get done. So I don't quite understand Kelly, but she loves cleaning. It's one of her favorite things to do. I don't get it. I wouldn't want to clean a large space, but I like cleaning. I don't know, it's fun. Now Nick and I will put plastic bags over these seats to protect them, right Nick? Right. And for anybody asking, no, they're not for sale, we're keeping them. Because if we ever decide to sell the truck, we don't want to have to try to find the same seats to fit back in there. That could be a challenge. So this is basically what we're doing to protect the seats while they're in storage. Just making sure that they don't get more damage to them and a lot of dust all over them. They'll have a home here with Nick for who knows. That went a lot quicker than they anticipated. However, I'm a little concerned on trying to put it back together. You didn't future. tell me that? Oh, don't worry about it, darling. I think I can do it, but the problem is, is the, the, the way that things are tabbed in and connected. I know I can do it, but if it's like three or four years from now, it might take me a minute. There might be a YouTube video on how to do it. Yeah. There's the YouTube video. Maybe I should have made this into a YouTube video on how to take out the back seat. Or I just rewatch this it. video. I, okay, I'll see what I can Maybe, do. Maybe, I don't know. That's all we're doing today. Now, tomorrow, we are going to drive to Longview back to his dad so that they, him and his dad can build the platform. And that is why we came here today to take the seats off. We're not trying to pack everything in every day. We got to give ourselves a little bit of a break. That was kind of the whole point is we're just trying to relax and get back to, whew, because when we get the camper, we're gonna be going hard again. <laughs> All right, y'all, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning. So we drove down to Longview, Texas, about an hour and a half south of Texture Canada to see my dad. My dad and I are gonna work on building that platform. So we've spent all morning trying to figure out how to organize everything back here. We're gonna build a platform probably just about that high. And then if you remember a couple of vlogs ago, I was talking about how we were gonna try to store the bikes in those bags. We ordered them, they're in. We put them in the bags last night to test it out. We'll show you that later. They're real nice. And we're gonna slide those in right up here above the platform. But we have to go to Home Depot still 
and get the materials to build this platform. And there he is, Haley 05. How are you doing, Pa? Hey, it's another day in paradise, man. I head to the Home Depot, pick up some wood, and on this build out, we're not gonna make it as heavy as we did the bike rack that we did two by fours out of. We were talking this morning. What do you think we need to do, Pops? Two by two. Two by twos? Two by two. Make it a little bit lighter, especially since we're trying to, we're adding so much more weight to the truck as a whole. Here we go. <laughs> So we didn't get it on camera, but we also got some indoor outdoor carpet that we're gonna be putting on and wrapping the wood to help protect from splintering any other things or ruining the inside of the interior of the truck in case we ever wanna put seats back in it, sell it, or who knows what might happen in the future. We might own a ranch one day, I don't know, but we had to help the guy cut it. We all had to learn together, it's kind of stressful. Dad knows because he actually does all the subcontract work for Home Depot for their doors and windows. You got like nine stores across eight, East, eight, 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 eight stores across East Texas, over Louisiana. to Louisiana. So he's a busy man, driving a lot of miles. They know him by name. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Yeah, sometimes you don't go where everybody knows your name. Oh, isn't that the cheers? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> We're back at the house and I gotta show you the new bike setup, how we're gonna be storing them. It is called Dekine. I think it's Dekine. D-A-K-I-N-E is the brand name right here. And the bikes are inside this rolling bag. It has wheels back here. So you can actually roll it. This is designed for when you wanna transport your bikes on an airplane or, you know, Greyhound bus, whatever. <laughs> there they are. We took the handlebars off. You set them to the side. You have your one wheel here. And everything is protected there. There's even a bag to put your for front forks in. Once you take everything apart, we took the pedals off and they're inside this bag. Slides in the front. The other wheel is back here in this other bag. And then the rear the railer is inside this bag here. I also put a piece of cardboard in each caliper because these are hydraulic brakes and the pistons can be closed together if you accidentally hit the brake lever. So you kind of want something in there so the brake pads don't end up touching inside the caliper. I have a strong feeling this is gonna be a great setup for us. I wanna be completely transparent with y'all. We don't really know what we're doing yet. We're just gonna kind of build as Do we, we go. Ever know what we're doing? No, we never have. But these are the materials we got here. What do we got, Pops? I uh, got a piece of 3 8 plywood and two by twos. We're gonna try to make something work. And what we're gonna wrap all that wood in is this indoor outdoor carpet, which will wrap all the wood in that to help protect like the bags so they don't get tore up by wood or any of the other stuff we have, including the truck itself. We don't want this carpet down here to start getting messed up or something else start being prematurely worn. So I know when we did the build on the H3 for the platform, we neglected to tell y'all the dimensions. So later on, we'll try to make sure we tell you the dimensions we end up doing in case somebody else wants to do this, but we won't know until it's fully done. So what we ended up doing is pull that up, Pa. We built the frame out like this so that we can actually store stuff on that side. And this adds support or makes it a, a, the frame rigid for the platform that we're gonna be building. And I'm assuming we're gonna build a smaller platform back here, keep it away from all these components and do the platform right across the top, right? Starting yeah, to sound that way? Like that. Gotta keep thinking though. All right, we've been thinking long and hard. And right here is how the seats were attached to the body of the truck. That's gonna anchor 
the whole entire platform and keep it from going back and forth. My concern is, is if we can't have any support, except for the support up here, it's gonna slide back and forth as we're driving. So we're probably gonna go back to Home Depot and try to find some angle iron or something with holes in it to attach there. Then we'll attach a two by two to that and go all the way across. I think it's a good idea. Let's see if it works. All right, change of plans. Haley 05 has adapted and overcome. So what we're what are we gonna do, Pops? I'm gonna try to make some little homemade brackets back here for the, the rear part of the deck. So got a little carpet modification there. Which is not an issue, shouldn't be anyway. Yeah, it's gonna look good. Move this nut and washer off, drop this on, and then he's gonna make an angle here with a piece of wood coming straight up and then we're gonna brace it with a triangle design or a, you know, wedge, square, a wedge. A wedge, a wedgie. Yeah. That'll be great. We're gonna need you to come in on Sunday, play catch up. That piece of wood that we had earlier that had the hole in it, down here at the bottom, I'll give you dimensions on this later. I'm not gonna start doing it until we're finalized because we're not sure yet. So I got this bolted in and the other great thing about this design that we're doing right now is it's gonna keep it away from the subwoofer, the amplifier, and keep everything off this power inverter right here. Those things need to be able to breathe and we don't wanna surround a whole lot of things around those where they start overheating. So this still gives plenty of room to be able to go under here, grab the jack, allow that to not have anything touching the subwoofer everything from the factory, basically like it was whenever the seats were in here. We're gonna end up putting a two by two on the back side of this and going all the way across. And then we'll come back in once we have everything set up and put some screws in that. Now I didn't tell you, we ended up not having to go to Home Depot. Dad had some leftover one by fours and that's what we're building all this out of. And the decking across here. I like that. Yeah. I'll buy that for a dollar. Dollar two ninety eight. We got that space still, nothing touching. Yeah. Beautiful, and it won't move, hopefully. That's a bad twist, that ain't coming out. Well, no, no, no. Well, it won't matter. So another trip to Home Depot had to be made because this wood that we originally bought, it's, I don't even know what kind of grade it is, but it's so- It's twisted grade. Yeah, it's twisted grade. It's just not good quality. We were trying to be affordable. So we had to go back with the number one grade. This stuff's a lot more sturdy. Everything was twisting and we couldn't, we couldn't get it to work properly. It's pretty darn twisted. We really thought we could get away with just twisting them out or whenever we put screws or something in it that might actually pull out the twist. Wasn't working. So grade, grade number one going. So if you might have seen Dean in the background, this is my dad's good friend, Dean. And I want to show y'all exactly how this looks outside of the truck. We ended up pulling it out. We just put nails in it just to be able to hold it in place, but we came back in and put some screws all the way through so he could have full support. Looks pretty good, Dean. It was all his idea. <laughs> okay. And we can just put it in here. Just like, like that, right? Just like it's supposed to fit. Yeah. Money. I guess we can tighten it down now. All right, we've been trying to figure out how wide we're gonna go with these two by twos. And what do we end up going with? 35 and a half? Yeah. So that's how much we went between our support here and there. And I think we're just gonna do a piece of plywood. We've done a test and everything slides very nicely up under it. So I think that's, that's gonna work out pretty well. I guess let's pull it out and tie it up, see what happens. So this is a actual, I guess you could say frame job finishing product here. What we got there, Paul? 37 and a quarter. 37 and a quarter? It's square, it's square. So 37 and a quarter length on both. And then what do we say between here? 35? It's 35 and a half overall width. And then on the front, 13 and three quarters. And on the back back here, we've got eight even. Eight even. That works out nice. It looks like we planned it that way. We did plan it that way. Got it all in there, bolted down. I'm liking that. I am liking that. If you've been wondering where Kelly is, Kelly has been doing inverter research because we just got <laughs> two lithium ion batteries that we're going to be replacing in the camper. You want to tell them yes. about it? Yes. So I know that we need a higher wattage 
inverter and we also are going to try to have an inverter that converts the 12 volt to a 110 volt so we can use our regular plug-ins like you do in a house or if you're hooked up to shore power so i did research we have two 100 amp lithium ion batteries well if you have a 100 amp battery that means you need a 1000 watt inverter. So we're gonna need a 2000 watt inverter and I found one, it's the Renogi, Renogi, Renogi brand. This is a good brand and I just did a bunch of research on it. So it's the Pearson Wave inverter, which is what you would want because it won't damage any of your appliances over time. Like big appliances like the refrigerator or anything else. We're not really gonna use our microwave. We'll probably just take the microwave out for extra storage, but we could use the microwave if we wanted to. So I'm looking into that. Been doing research today. She's really smart. Love you. I gotta try to figure it out because I mean, I, there's nobody that knows anything about this that I could just be like, hey, what do we need? Yep. Gotta figure it out. The plywood's been cut and it is 35 and a half by 36 and a half. Some of you might be wondering why are we not going all the way across with the plywood? It's because the bags, those bike bags over there, are gonna have to come in at an angle through the door because the door jam up here it's gonna hit the top of it. So if it comes in at an angle, then it will set here. And I think we're gonna put one board right across here that we can remove and take out because then we wanna be able to have that have support. Plus we're gonna put things in between the bikes and they'll need support because then they're just gonna fall over here on top of all this stuff. Kelly said that she wants to staple some carpet to the wood, right honey? Yes, I will. We're gonna wrap up the plywood first and have it fully wrapped whenever we set it on top of the frame in there. That way it all gets pulled down tight and all the corners are also wrapped in carpet. Fold towards me and then we'll cut it like that for right now. We got a camera guy, Dean, he's taking over. Dad, look, right. Dean's yeah. a camera guy. Ah. And then this one piece will be completely wrapped. We'll cut the corners, tuck it in, staple it down and set it on top, drill some screws through it, bam. Look at that. That's good. Can you put it on? Yeah. I like that. What do you think? Yeah. While we were doing that, Dad made a little support. Oh, yeah. Bam. Look at that. Put a little nail tack in there. That way support can be right here and won't fall over like we were talking about. Because if we had a huge piece of plywood here and try to get the bikes out, well, it would be hard to get that plywood out because the plywood would have to be bent up and all that. Good job, Dad. Yeah, it looks great, thanks. Now we're just gonna throw some screws in the top. We just got some sheetrock screws, nothing too fancy, just to hold this in place. Up under here, putting the weights there, a power bank there. We're gonna keep taking the Jolka with us so we can shower and not use the water tank if we're out in the wilderness and we have a nice spot. Now on the other side, right there we have our workout bench with the Jolka on the other side. We'll end up putting fishing gear and paddles for the boats up there because we're gonna try putting the boats on top. They're installing a rack system on top of the camper as we speak. This is the part that took a lot of thought, right, Paul? Yeah. We'll take these. And we'll be able to remove this because originally, like I said, if this was here, the bike wouldn't fit. It was gonna hit here and hit there and not fit in and fill up that cavity. So we just pick that up, move that back, and then I can slide these in. Like that. And once both of them are in there, you just move it back, set it right there, and then it's got support right there. Isn't that nice? And then we'll put some chairs and stuff in between the two bikes right here. And then we're also gonna add a strap and strap it around to help kind of pull it towards the back. And the way this was designed, it's not gonna to be touching, none of these bags will be touching anything on the back. But I think we're gonna call it for the night and we'll see y'all in the morning. Today is the day. Mm -hmm. We have an eight hour drive to go pick up the camper. Yesterday we headed back to my parents' house. We took off the tailgate. We did a couple extra things we needed to do to get prepared. And now it is time to go. So we've got a long drive. And if you see behind us, we didn't bring everything with us. We it's left, a lot of stuff. it's still a lot of stuff, but we left everything that was back here at my dad's place. And then we brought the trailer to Nick and Kathy's, Kelly's parents, because they have more room. So everything is empty out of the trailer. And some of you have been wondering what are we doing with the trailer? Well, we're taking the trailer with us to trade it in on the new camper, but it is completely empty. It's actually kind of weird looking <laughs> without the boats on Everything. top too. Yeah. 
So let's hit the road. So we've arrived at our Airbnb. We knocked out a solid eight hours, maybe eight and a half. And we're gonna go ahead and take a nap and go ahead and go to bed, I think. Yeah, first thing in the morning, we're heading over to the dealership. See you in the morning. Today is the big day. We're going out to the RV center and we're dropping off the Nobo. Bye Nobo. Bye Nobo. And it's gonna take majority of the day for them to place the truck camper on the back of the truck. So we do have to leave the truck with them today. This afternoon, they're gonna give us the call back. Someone's gonna come get us, give us a ride, and then we can show you what it looks like. <laughs> Let's go do it. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is gonna be the last time y'all see the no boat. And I gotta admit, she's been really good to us. She's been really good. But we're gonna drop this off here. We're gonna leave the truck with them and then they're gonna take us back to the Airbnb we're staying at for the day so that we can get some editing done for the Thursday vlog and just wait for them to let us know when it's all ready. So we'll see y'all in a little bit. It's exciting. It's big, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The part that makes me nervous. Don't let it make you nervous, darling. gosh it is so beautiful i cannot get over how beautiful it is i do have a question we're uh, at a spot do we need to put these down or does it matter you don't okay you don't you so can, can stabilize a little bit with it that'll keep your truck from kind of wobbling mm -hmm. if you wanted to but if you're just like overnight and you're leaving the next one i don't even know if i'd waste my time with uh, okay so if we're gonna be there just, for several days yeah. but we you never want to try and pick it up or really put much pressure on it when you're hooked to your guns oh okay, onto yeah, the truck right, right. that's only so that's gonna, that's this is keeping it stable when that's we're right. in there keeping walking it, around sliding out of the back and that kind okay. of thing so they come with these clip pins to hold this you know mm -hmm. you can open and close it here Mm -hmm. These pins go in here like so, so that it can't be opened. Mm -hmm. You can buy locks that will slide through there and fit there to lock these on. Gotcha. Um, okay. We may even have a set here in the store. I don't know if y'all are, are leaving or not. Y'all might not be back yeah. in the morning to do that. But they have some of those locking pins that are uh, Torque Lift brand. Okay. But there are locks for those. Oh, yeah. yeah. Welcome to our new home. We'll show y'all the inside of that next time because we still got to drive eight hours back to Texarkana to Kelly's parents, so we'll catch you on the other. Bye.